Hi, my name is Connor Gilligan. Uh, I'm working for my cousin Declan Gilligan Agri, uh, spreading bulk fertilizer for Liffey Mills in Banagher. Um, we're spreading here today on a dairy farm covering 220 acres with 125 kilos to the acre of urea. Um, we're spreading with the Axion A30 class, Cematic Vario with auto steer. We have a Breed Dog K135 spreader with a 13 and a half ton capacity of compound and a 10 ton capacity between 10 and 11 of urea. Um, we're spreading here today um, on good conditions considering the weather in the last couple of weeks. Fertilizer just begin to get into swing of things again after the weather. Um, we're hoping um, to bring full loads long distances with this spreader now compared to our K85 that was bringing a max of 9.5 to 10 ton of compound and 7 to 7.5 ton of urea. She has dynamic weight cells, which means she's calibrating while you're spreading. She adjusts um, the target rate while she's spreading because she's um, reading the weight of the fertilizer leaving it, along with um, calculating the flow rate. The machine itself is um, on a steering axle to help it get in and out uh, places. She will go anywhere where the single axle will go. Um, she is traveling ground better than the single axle. She's less um, compaction on the ground, which is also a help. When we got it, we decided uh, when we we're going long journeys that for fewer farmers, we're going to go with the likes of 0730 across silage ground and then go back again with nitrogen on top of it. We decided we put a split hopper in the middle of it with a false floor, which means we can carry two different fertilizers in the one go. We'd be expecting somewhere around six and three quarter tons in each compartment. This was a massive saving because even last year alone, I traveled massive distance with two load when I could have brought it all in the one. So it's massive and time saving. Our class A30 is, it's a big uh, upgrade uh, on spreader wise because usually we'd be operating with the likes of a 650 or a T7 210 horsepower. So she's putting out about 235 horsepower with uh, 150 liters of uh, oil flow, uh, which is important because uh, it was uh, needed 130 liters to drive the spreader alone and you'd want to remain in 20 at least for steering. Um, so that was, that was a major uh, decision when we were buying the tractor that it was able to, to, to pump dial back to the, back to the spreader, you know. Um, the tractor itself, um, it has two screens inside. As you see, it'll have an S10 ISOBUS screen from class that can both drive the spreader as well and the auto steer off the one screen. We also got a Topcon screen um, I suppose as well to drive the spreader and um, just for fear we ever had to swap around tractors to our class 840 we could be able to put it onto that or the, the 650 as well we could just take off the screen swap over the spreader and have it done in a couple of minutes that was our main reasoning and um, as you can see inside we fitted a camera to the top of the top con screen as well so we could look down on top of the fertilizer coming out make sure our spinners are working correctly make sure the fertilizer is coming out evenly and you have a good um, spread pattern um, the tractor itself is, um, well, it's a massive upgrade from the, the 650 pull-em wise, you know. When you come to a hill, there's no um, fault to it at all. Um, where the 650 would be back at the 170 horsepower mark, so there, there, you would see a uh, difference in traction and pulling up um, steep hills. Uh, Fuel-wise, the Vario is going to be easier on fuel. You're going to probably save yourself two litres an hour, um, fuel-wise. Um, Power-wise, it is better. Um, by far um, and the Vario and comfort wise there's no real comparison. Uh, really and truly it's only a matter of time before the farmers realise that the efficiency and accuracy out of these spreaders is uh, the way of the future and I see it in only a matter of time they'll be going down this route of spreading and they'll be going down the route of variable rate spreading as well.